Hi everyone, and welcome back to Rock Cafe Online. This is episode one of series three. Be sure to download the activity sheet and Bible reading from the link in the description box below, and we'll start off with some news. Well, we haven't got any craft pictures from anyone this time round because it's the beginning of a series, isn't it? But Derek wanted to share with you a picture from him all dressed up at a wedding last weekend. So let's have a look at that. You were looking very smart, Derek. In series three, we're going to be looking at Noah and how God rescued him. So some of you might have noticed how Derek is wearing a life jacket. Very good, Derek. And as ever, he's been thinking about today's Bible passage, which involves a big flood. So he thought he would put on his life jacket just, um, just to show you. Um, so let's have a look at our Bible reading. It's from Genesis chapter 6 and uh, reading from verses 9 to the end of the chapter. So as ever, it's printed on your sheet, but if you've got your own Bible at home, then you can follow along in that. This is the account of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked with God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham and Japheth. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence. God saw how corrupt the earth had become, for all the people on earth had corrupted their ways. So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark of cypress wood. Make rooms in it and coat it with pitch inside and out. This is how you are to build it. The ark is to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide and 45 feet high. Make a roof for it and finish the ark to within 18 inches of the top. Put a door in the side of the ark and make lower, middle and upper decks. I am going to bring floodwaters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens, every creature that has the breath of life in it. Everything on earth will perish, but I will establish my covenant with you and you will enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife and your sons' wives with you. You are to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with you, two of every kind of bird, of every kind of animal and of every kind of creature that moves along the ground will come to you to be kept alive. You are to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and store it away as food for you and for them. Noah did everything just as God commanded him. Well, a lot of people know this true story of Noah, don't they? You might know it. You might have heard it loads. It's a very important part of the Bible for us to think about. And that's why we're thinking about it over all five episodes of series three. Many people will hear the name Noah and think of an image like this. Happy, smiley animals in the ark. And the animals are normally way too big, aren't they? Anyway, this section of the Bible has a very sad start. It's God who's sad. God is sad because the people of the whole world, the people he made, well, they were being horrible to each other. They didn't love each other and they didn't love God. They were being horrible and selfish. And God was sorry that he made them. They were causing so much pain. So he was going to destroy it all and start all over again. Now, there was one man who did love God, and his name was Noah. You see, Noah was part of God's plan. God was going to flood the earth to make a fresh start, and he wanted Noah to build an ark, a great big floating safe space for Noah and his family and the animals. God was going to keep them all safe in the ark and make a new beginning. Well, wow. what do you think Noah's neighbours would have thought about Noah when he started building the ark? 
They probably thought he was completely mad. But Noah wasn't mad. He was following God and he was doing exactly what God had told him to do. Some people today might think similar thoughts about Christians following Jesus. It may seem odd to some that Christians follow someone who died on a cross. But like Noah's situation, God saves people in a very unusual way. I'm going to say a prayer now. And if you want to make my prayer your prayer, then you can say Amen at the end. Lord God, thank you for Noah. And thank you that he followed you and did exactly what you told him to do. Thank you that you had a rescue plan already set out. Thank you that you were going to save Noah and his family and all the animals. And we thank you, Father, that you've got a plan to save many, many people. Everyone who believes in your son, the Lord Jesus. So please help us, Father, to think about Jesus and what he did. And we ask this in his name. Amen. Craft. Uh, let's see what we're making today. Here we are. We've got an ark to make. So you can make that nice and colourful. And um, let's see how we do this craft. Apologies, the camera shot isn't quite central, but you'll get the idea. Hopefully you had a chance to do that craft. Now, as ever, Derek had a go at the craft, didn't you, Derek? So let's see how Derek got on a bit earlier. Nice one, Derek. Prayer for Terrington. This week we're going to pray for the pupils and teachers having just come to the end of a very unusual term. So as ever, the words will be on the screen so that you can join in at home. So let's pray for Tarrington. Lord God, we thank you for our homes and families and all the good things we enjoy. We pray for all the pupils and school staff that have just finished this term. Please help them all to have a good break over the summer and a good time with their families. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Challenge. This week, our challenge is about throwing a dice lots of times. So let's see what today's challenge is. So for this challenge, you'll need a start and a finish line, a regular six-sided dice, and a timer. So set your start and finish line as shown. The object of the game is for the player to roll the dice so that they roll every possible number at least once. The player begins behind the start line and must roll the dice across the finish line. Dice rolled short do not count. And the challenge is you've got to complete this in under two minutes. Well, hopefully you had a chance to do that challenge. And that's all for this week. Great to be back. Hope you've enjoyed the craft and the challenges. And uh, please do send in pictures of your craft and your challenges uh, to the email in the description box below. 
As ever, our church service is online on Sunday on our YouTube channel, so hopefully you can join us for that. So have a good week, everyone, and stay safe.